Hey everyone. So I am super excited today because I am taking the brand new high speed rail in Florida called the Bright Line. And I wanted to give a special shout out and thank you to Brightline for inviting me to ride their train today. Um, so if you're not familiar with the Brightline, it is our first high speed train in America. No, if you've been following our travels, you know that we've been to Europe several times. So we've ridden the trains over in Europe so many times. So I'm super excited today to have the opportunity of trying out our American train um, and specifically our Florida train. So I will be taking the train today from Orlando, which just opened our Orlando station here, and I will be taking it to West Palm Beach. Now the train does go to Miami, um, but I'm going to visit my family for the holidays, so I'm just taking it to the West Palm Beach station. But I'm super excited to see what it has to offer, so let's go check it out. The Brightline isn't technically the first high speed in America, Amtrak's Excella is, but Brightline does average faster speeds than Excella due to having fewer stops. But crazy to think that plans for high-speed rail in the United States have dated all the way back to 1965. Okay, so first things first, I love that they have a bag check here. Um, if you've traveled in Europe before on their high-speed rails, you have to bring your bag on board and there's a storage place for it. So I love that I was able to get rid of my bag because I've got a lot of things to carry. And then the other thing is I went through security. So those are the two things I went through first. Really easy. You just simply go and scan your own ticket um, right off your phone, right off the app. Um, really, really simple to use. It's awesome. Brightline was founded in 2017 to create a solution for routes that are too long to drive but too short to fly. Their diesel electronic locomotives run clean biodiesel for lower emissions with the hopes of removing 3 million cars from the road each year. Their use of solar power at their stations has them working towards operating completely carbon-free rides as well as bringing 6.4 billion in direct economic impact to Florida's economy over the next eight years, additionally creating and sustaining over 2,000 jobs in South Florida all while everyday operations help remove 72,000 metric tons of CO2 emissions from the communities that they serve. So there are two types of tickets. There's the smart ticket, um, which is basically just your simple coach type of travel, um, which it doesn't allow snacks, it does allow Wi-Fi, it also allows outlets. Um, the seats are a little bit smaller. And then there's the premium travel. So the premium, the seats are a little bit bigger. There is a premium lounge. There's actually a smart lounge as well. Um, but inside the premium lounge, which is actually where I've just come into, um, I've scanned my ticket actually and just walked right in. Um, you do get snacks and you do get beverages as well. So I'm going to go check those out. To purchase tickets, you can purchase directly off of their website, www.gobrightline.com, or you may purchase directly off of the app. If you purchase on the website, once you are signed into the app, your ticket should show up right on your phone so that you can scan your ticket just like I did. Additionally, as I said, there are two classes to choose from. There is your smart and premium, and both do offer their own lounge. Brightline considers smart as business class, but it is your simple coach, which does offer food and beverage items for purchase. Whereas premium service is considered their first class and food and beverage items are included.
the food in premium is actually surprising. Um, there were two choices of salads. There was a Caesar salad and then a garden salad with some strawberries um, that actually looked really good. Um, there were a few sandwich bites, there was some cheese, there was some pepperoni. Um, then there was a sweet area that had some sweets to eat. Um, there was your choice of alcoholic beverages, which you just actually, um, you need your phone to actually order that stuff. Um, for me, I just grab some water. <laughs> um, but really cool though and pretty high tech, so really neat. Okay, so I just grabbed a little piece of wrap um, and then I grabbed some cheese. So again, um, you know, pretty nice. I don't know if it's worth um, the $2.69 versus the smart price um, for just a few snacks, but so far it's really nice. The lounge is nice. I love how high tech everything is. Um, everybody's super nice, very attentive, um, and everything feels really easy, and that I love. Okay, so, so far, already, so many features that I really love about this train. One, I see plugs. Um, there's one right next to me, which I will show you, and there's also one right under the seat. So, plenty of plugs. I mean, I'm in a seat by myself, so yes, I can plug in all of my devices. The other thing is, is that, so right next to me, um, you're able to actually push the seat. Push the seat back, maybe not. Oh, yep, yep, I hear it. It slides. Okay, we'll work on that one. <laughs> and I'll get back to you on that one. But I see the button for it, so I'm gonna test that. Um, there is a little tray for either your phone or a drink, and then there's the big tray, which I'm using for the camera right now. So, love all the above right now. Okay, so let's talk about the seats features, okay? Got it. Armrests. For your beverages. A big tray. And this button make the seat go forward or go back. So really nice that you can adjust the seat. And you've got You've also got a plug here, and you have a plug back here. So you literally have two different plugs, which is really, really cool. So, and the seats are super comfortable. So another really, really nice feature. Okay, so they just came around, checked our tickets. Yes, I'm in a premium seat, and we got these little bright line wipes to clean our hands with. So actually really chilled, really cold. So on a hot day, really refreshing. Okay, so the train has just taken off and already they're coming around for service. So pretty on top of things. Like I said, they gave us a washcloth, really nice. Um, so let's see what they come around with for service.
Okay, so lots of snacks to choose from. Love it. Lots of spirits. Um, everything is included with the premium price. I grabbed a Prosecco and I grabbed some popcorn. Um, and she did say that she was coming around with um, sandwiches later. So, again, pretty nice. Okay. Cheers. Big bonus. Okay, so they just came around with sandwiches and I did the Italian, but look at all the stuff it comes with. It comes with caprese, it comes with some fruit. Nice size nice sandwich, so really nice. Um, as I said, I'm actually amazed. Um, the whole experience so far has really been truly first class. Um, I'm really enjoying my experience. The shore beach driving to South Florida by far. Overall, a really amazing experience traveling on the Bright Line for the first time. I would say it's definitely a first class experience when you're traveling in premium. Um, you are paying for it for sure. It's definitely more um, the cost of it than it would be to travel on a train in Europe. Um, but I have to say, American travel, this is a step up and um, such a great experience and I highly recommend it. Um, it sure definitely beats driving. I just wanted to say thank you again to Brightline and I look forward to all my future travel on Brightline. See you next time.